Hi everyone, this is Brian Hayes and welcome to a scale boot camp for saxophone. There are so many scales we can play on any instrument. It's important to cover scales that let you compose melodies and freely improvise against the classic sounds in music, in all styles of music. And those sounds are major, minor, augmented, diminished and seventh. So the best place to start is to be able to play at least one scale against each of those chord families. I think the best place to start on any instrument is always the chromatic scale because the 12 tones of a chromatic scale give you every possible note that any of the other scales may require you to play. Let's do everything in the key of G major here today. I'm on the B flat tenor saxophone, so this is in F concert, but we'll speak in this key. We'll start with a G chromatic scale, every possible note in an octave ascending and descending. <laughs> I'm just going to tongue all the notes today, but you should also practice all of your scales, slurred and tongued, and a combination of those two. Let's go to the major scale, G major. It's got the F sharp in it. G minor. Now here we've got many different scales we can pick from. For today's demonstration, I'm just going to play the Dorian minor, which is the major scale, a tone lower than your starting note. So we're starting on a G, a tone lower than G is F major. We play an F major scale from G to G. So we're going to have a B flat in this scale because the key of F major has a B flat. <laughs> the Dorian minor. Augmented is a whole tone scale. Every single note is a full tone, either above or below the last note you played. G whole tone scale can also be called an augmented scale. <laughs> diminished, now there are at least two common ways to play a diminished scale. We're going to play the modal version today, the seventh degree of a scale gives you the diminished chord when it's harmonized to three notes. So a G modal, Locrian modal scale would be starting on the note G and playing an A flat major scale, a semitone higher than your starting note. Play that major scale from G back to G. A flat's got four flats in it, B flat, E flat, A flat and D flat. So a G diminished scale using the modal concept would sound like this. And finally, the seventh, the dominant seventh chord. There are a number of common scales we could play against a seventh chord, the bebop scale, the blues scale, but let's play the easiest of them all, which is the dominant seventh scale. This is the major scale with the flattened seventh in it. F sharp becomes F natural. <laughs> Now there you have it. You've got at least one scale that you can apply to the five common chord families in music. As you get more confident with those scales, try running two or three or four or all of them together. You might play the dominant seventh scale immediately followed by the augmented scale. <laughs> So you just played a chord change there from G seventh to G augmented. You might play from G diminished to G minor. Get the idea? So the real boot camp is know the scales, but then practice chord progressions and playing through those scales as, as you play through those progressions. I hope that's been of interest to you. Remember, we're just doing that in one key. There are another 11 starting notes that you could have played all of those scales on, and we only touched on the total number of scales in music. Bye for now.